Hello. Hello, hello, and good morning, my story time friends. My name is Miss Wendy, and welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Storytime Live. I am so glad you're here today. A uh, couple notes at the front end of our story time. If you have a scarf nearby, you might want to grab it for a song that we're going to do later. Or if you don't have a scarf, maybe you have a dish towel, or maybe you have a sock. It can be anything flowy, and then we'll use that later. Um, so we always start with our hello song. So here's how it goes. We'll say hello. This is American Sign Language for hello. And then friends are your two fingers and they give each other a hug, just like that. And then it's time to say hello. Okay, we'll do it twice. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, very good. Okay, so today's story time is all about new books. The library has gotten a bunch of new books in and I love all of them. They're beautiful, they have wonderful stories to tell, and so later on in story time we'll go have a look around and see what kind of books, what is new in the children's area of the library, because of course you can come in now. Um, okay, so without further ado, we have to make sure we know what day it is before going anywhere. So let's review our days of the week. Okay, <clears throat> so let's count first. How many days of the week are there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's right, seven days of the week. Now let's look at what each of the days are called. We've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, oops, Friday, and Saturday. That's right, the days of the week. And now let's sing our song about the days of the week. This is a great song to help you remember what the days of the week are. So how many were there? That's right, there's seven. Okay, so let's hold up our seven fingers and here's how it goes. Every week has seven days. See how many you can say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? What is today, my friends? Well, it's story time morning. That means it's Wednesday. Yes, yes, Wednesday, middle of the week, which I love. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Seven days of the week. We'll hold up our seven fingers and here we go. Every week has seven days. See how many you can say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? Well, we already know it's Wednesday. Okay, so I think it's time for a story. Are you all ready for a story? Okay, well, let's move around a little bit while we sing our song. Move that on back just a little bit. Okay. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, 
story if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story clap your hands i kind of forgot the notes at the very beginning of that i apologize okay let's see let's march if you're ready for a story march around if you're ready for a story march around if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story march around okay that was awful i'm so sorry okay so let's try one more give me a chance to play it right for once let's do uh, let's do jump jump up and down okay are you ready all right if you're ready for a story jump up and down if you're ready for a story jump up and down if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story jump up and down oh at last i did it right that time okay this is our final one this is just to get us ready to be still if you're ready for a story sit real still and then you freeze if you're ready for a story sit real still if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story if you're ready for a story sit real still how long can you sit still your parents and caregivers wonder this every day <laughs> oh, well that's it that's all i could do that's all i could do for sure okay before we get to our very first brand new book Let's do our five deep breaths. That just helps us to give our bodies a chance to just slow down for a minute and get ready to read. Okay, so our first finger and our thumb go together and we take a deep breath in. Hold it and out. Now, ring finger and thumb, deep breath in. Hold it, deep breath out ring finger and thumb deep breath in deep breath out pinky and thumb deep breath in deep breath out and thumbs up because you love new books deep breath in deep breath out that helps us to find our peace a little bit which is good okay let's see what this first book is all about okay <laughs> right. This is a good one. Uh, this is called Sheepish. Let me move my scarf. <laughs> Sheepish. Wolf Undercover. And this is by Helen Yoon. Is there, a, is there a wolf in there? Let's find out. Looks like somebody's doing some sewing. And this comes to us from Candlewick Press. This book was written and released this year. Oh, what's happening here? It's good, it's good, it's good. There's the little sheep, or the little wolf. He's dreaming of sheep. And there's the little sheep. All right. Scoot, 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 scoot. Scoot, 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 scoot. He was getting in there. He's getting in there. Success! I'm in. All right, he got to where they go to eat. All right, he snuck in. His disguise has worked. Shh. I'm pretending to be a sheep. Nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> It's all part of my master plan. Step one, be helpful. There he is doing the dishes, being helpful, cleaning up. Step two, be handy. Okay, all right, he's doing the laundry. He's chopping the wood for cooking of all the while still thinking about his sheep. 
step three, be fun and friendly. Oh, it looks like he's taking part in an exercise class. Oh, and he's being a team player. All right, he's infiltrating. Step four, be the sheepiest sheep there ever was. Then, when they least expect it, dinner time, huh? There's a little sheep came to say dinner time. And look how cute. And there he is sleeping, wondering. Oh, but he's so cute. How's he gonna do that? I can't do it! Nope, 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 nope. He says, I can't do it. I can't eat them. And he runs away. He runs away. Oh, back to his little place in the woods. He takes off his costume. He doesn't know what to do. New plan. Step one. See, I don't know what he's doing there. Step two. Hmm, what is he up to? Success! He made little sheep for his mantle in the fireplace, and he checked out books from the library. The No Meat Diet, Vegetarian, and Pork. So he's decided he doesn't want to eat sheep after all. Knock, 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 knock. Uh-oh, there's somebody at the door. Huh? Who is it? It looks like, it looks like three wolves, but there's buttons and zippers. I don't know if it's wolves in there. Let's find out. <gasps> we miss you! It's all the sheep. They've jumped dressed up like the wolf. They thought it was a thing. <laughs> you knew. So the the wolf just has couldn't believe that they knew the whole time that he was just a wolf dressed up. Luckily, they came to a happy conclusion and everybody ended up having a good old time. And look, they're going to make some new outfits for wolf here. Oh, and they're hanging out. They're working together. All right. Well, that is a great great book. That is a wonderful book by Helen Yoon. I hope you enjoyed that. Alrighty. Let's see here. All right. Shall we go take a look and see what is new in the library? All right. Let's go. Okay. Here's the story time doors. Let's see who's out here. Oh. <gasps> new things. Well, these aren't so new, but you've got your window displays. And look at all the books. So many to choose from. Now, here comes the really cool part. <clears throat> look at all these new books. There are so many new books, and there are new books that show up each week. Check it out. Now, these are all fiction books, all of them new. Ready for you to come check out and pick, pick out. These are all of our picture books. Hot off the presses. You learn something about dogs. And now, if you have an older brother or sister, you might be reading. There's some other chapter books that are brand new here. Lots and lots of new books. And of course, don't forget our non-fiction new books. So when you come in, they're right there at the corner of the very first row. All kinds of tight things, beautiful informative, fun. Look at that, so many new ones. Also new at the library are our wings. You've got to come by and take a picture. These were all made a couple Saturdays ago. 
and it turned out really nicely. And of course, there's a new place to sit. When you come in and you find yourself a new book, you can sit right down here in this comfy chair and enjoy your book. Okay. So the library is open. Come have a look, pick out some stuff to read and get ready for summer reading because that's what's happening next. All right, my friends, why do you, why do you, what do you say we read another new book? pulled this one off the shelf yesterday and I just love it because it's all about wonder finding wonder in the world around you do you know what that means to find wonder that means to look around and be amazed at the things that you see big things and even tiny things this is written and illustrated by Misha Archer and it comes to us from Nancy Paulson Books. So that looks like a brother and sister. Hmm, there they are, they look bored. Wonder walk, she asks. Sure, he says. She's got a lot of questions. There's little brother. And there she is. Is the sun the world's light bulb? <laughs> I wonder. Is fog the river's blanket? We had some fog this morning. Do mountains have bones? Are forests mountains fur? Gosh, I never thought of that. I wonder. Me too. They're just looking outside. Are trees the sky's legs? <laughs> are branches trees arms? I think they are. Is dirt the world's skin? Are roots the plant's Toes? Kind of. Do caves have mouths? Ooh, the mouth of a cave. Are shells the shore's necklace? Is the ocean the world's bath? Yes, I would think so. <laughs> Look at all the beautiful shells. It's a beautiful necklace you've got on there, shoreline. Are rivers the earth's veins? Oh, yes. Is the wind the world blowing? I wonder. Is rain the day's tears? Is the moon the world's nightlight? I think so. Look at the kitty sitting in the moonlight. I wonder. Me too. What do you wonder about? It could be anything, big and small. It's great to wonder about things and use your imagination to try to figure things out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that new book. That will be right back there on the shelf shortly. And now I think it's time for us to move around. So do you remember when I said to get a scarf or a dish towel or a pillowcase or a sock? And if Rose was here, she'd say, your little brother's underwear. And I'd say, no, no, no. <laughs> But maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I thought, you know what we haven't done in a long time? We wave our scarves together. Okay, so here's my scarf. And don't forget, 
we have story time pouches that have some egg shakers and scarves and rhythm sticks to join along during story time. Okay, let's do it. Now let's start by waving our scarves, big, big waves above our head. Great. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together because it's fun to do. Excellent. Okay, so what should we do next? Hmm, let's, let's toss our scarves in the air. Okay, one, two, three. We toss our scarves in the air. We toss our scarves in the air. We toss our scarves in the air because it's fun to do. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, always a favorite, peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay, one, two, three. We play peekaboo with our scarves. We play peekaboo with our scarves. We play peekaboo with our scarves because it's fun to do. And now we clean up. We put our scarves away. One, two, three. We put our scarves away. We put our scarves away. We put our scarves away because it's nice to do. It is nice to clean up after yourself, isn't it? Okay, we've got one more new book. Now this is a funny, silly book that plays around with words, which I think is very fun and I love tacos. So, I mean, what's not to like about this book? So it's a play on words. So you're gonna notice some words that sound like words that you know, but they're different words. But you'll get the, you'll get the message either way. So let's give this one a read. It's called, Let's Taco About How Great You Are. So it's instead of let's talk about how great you are, it says let's taco about how great you are because he's a taco. And he says, this is Nacho Average Advice Book. <laughs> instead of not your, it's Nacho. And this is by Bob Holt. It's no big deal. That's a dill pickle. <clears throat> and this comes to us from Doubleday Books for Young Readers. And that's one cool donut. Okay. Hot diggity dog. It's you. Glad I could catch up with you. <laughs> He's a hot dog. So happy to know ya. Ditto. Happy. He's a pea. You guac my world. For guacamole. Let's spread the news. <laughs> You're a smarty pants. And we're not gherking around. Dill with it. A gherkin is a little pickle. And the dill is a pickle. Oh, there's that cool donut. Donut, know how you do it, but you do it with style. I'm a morning person. Remember, not every day will be grape. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Some days are lemons. Sunday. Yep. Things won't always go your way. You can bake in that. <laughs> Some days will leave you sizzled. <sighs> Let me give you a few asparagus tips. <laughs> Never give up. Smile. Be yourself. And please shower. <laughs> which is good advice for everybody don't let life pasta you by life 
life is a gouda. Take it one slice at a time. I have no doubt you'll be great. Like grating cheese. Always find a raisin to smile. <laughs> I feel great. Should you worry? Nah, you can't beat it. You can't be beat, excuse me. <laughs> Nobody knows butter than you. Been there, buttered that. Conquering life's challenges can make you feel like a new tomato potato. I got this. It's become apparent you're one of a kind. I'm not perfect, but I'm me. So let us all yell. Yahoo for you! Don't do the salad spinner. The end. And there they go. This has only come out a few weeks ago, this book. And it's going right back there on the shelf for you guys to check out. And it's really funny. I hope you enjoyed that book. Now let me put my camera back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. I hope you enjoyed all the new books. Definitely come to the library and see what you can find. Also, we're getting ready to make some announcements about summer reading, but I can tell you that on Wednesdays, starting June 16th, we're gonna do story time outside, in person, finally. So I, I look forward to hopefully seeing you all there. I will continue to make announcements about it so we don't forget. But until then, don't forget to wash your hands. It's still very important. So let's do tops and bottoms. Okay, one, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean again. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, my friends. Until next time, we have a baby and toddler story time tomorrow morning at 1030. And then we'll be back again next Wednesday for story time preschool story time all right but until then i'll see you later alligator in a while crocodile give a hug ladybug blow a kiss jellyfish see you soon big baboon out the door dinosaur Take care, polar bear. <laughs> Wave goodbye, butterfly. I'll see you next time, friends. Have a great week. Bye.